G'day folks, I hope you're all doing well. Back out here in the beautiful Australian bush and I uh, thought I'd take this opportunity to do a little review on my um, Tasmanian Tiger Raid Pack 3. This, in my opinion, is probably one of the best bushcraft and hiking packs on the market. So yeah, let's get stuck into it. Yeah, so I've had this bag for a couple of years now and I've put it through the ringer. I've taken on countless overnight and multi-day hikes and I really sort of uh, thrown everything at it. And this thing is just bomb proof. It is such a tank. Um, I think it's gonna last me for years and years to come. Uh, but so yeah, let's talk about some of the specs. So it's made from 700D uh, Cordura fabric. And to me, that was pretty important because hiking in sort of sandstone country um, where you're always rubbing up against a lot of rocks, uh, I needed something that's going to be abrasion resistant because I've had other packs in the past that sort of made from that lighter weight material and they just don't withstand that kind of abuse. But something like this, this is going to last me for years. Uh, it is a little bit on the heavy side. It comes in at about 2.9 kilos. So it's definitely not a light backpack. Um, but if you have a look at the strap system, it's got this V2 plus strap system and I find it does a really good job of sort of distributing that weight. Like I've been on five day hikes with this and um, it's been really comfortable. It's done a really good job. So really happy with it. It's got this really nice waist belt as well, which you can actually take off. So um, you have to unstrap it there, but it's also got molly webbing on it. So I think they call this a warrior belt. So the idea is you can take this off and then it straps some um, pouches to it go off on a walkabout or so whatever you need to do. Um, and that way you don't have to take your whole pack. So it's, it's pretty handy. I've never actually used it myself. Um, I don't really have any need for it, but it is nice being able to take this off. So when I go on my canoe trips, um, I can put this bag inside a dry bag and I don't have this getting in the way. So it's actually a really good feature for that. And that just slides back in there like that. So yeah, um, in terms of capacity, it's a 52 litre bag. So there's 48 litres in the front compartment and there's two litres on either side. Um, these outside pockets are really what drew me to the bag because for some reason, a lot of hiking bags don't have external pockets, which I think is crazy because it's so handy having outside pockets where you keep like your first aid kit or your water bottle or just other bits and pieces like maybe GPS or just a small towel or something like that. They just kind of want easy access through throughout the day. And I find it super handy. So that really drew me to the bag. It's also got this nice big um, pocket on top of the lid, which is uh, great for keeping like an extra layer or something like that or anything you kind of want easy access to. Uh, the only suggestion I could make about this bag is on this side of the lid, it'd be nice if it had another pocket here. Even if it's just some um, mesh, like sort of mesh pocket with like a elastic um, band just to kind of cinch everything down. That way you can kind of put like your small bits and pieces like your keys or camera batteries or maybe a map or something like that. Because I find when you sort of open this pocket up, things can kind of fall out and you might lose them. But if you had another pocket here, I think that'd be super helpful. So Tasmanian Tiger, if you're watching this, I think that's a good recommendation. It's also got um, molly webbing all over the pack, which is fantastic. Like it's got on the top, it's got on the sides and it's got on the front and the bottom. Um, and that's really useful, especially for me, when I'm doing a lot of um, hiking videos, it's great to be able to attach the tripod to the front of the bag. Um, it's also got these loops down the bottom here where um, you can put sort of uh, hiking poles or an ax, and then you can sort of cinch it down up here with this little um, loop up here. And I also usually tend to put some carabiners on this molly webbing and carry some extra cordage, um, which I find is really useful. Uh, on the side of the pack, it's got these compression straps. There's one there. There's another one down here and that's great to put like a, a folding saw or maybe even um, a fishing rod, like a collapsible fishing rod. You can sort of put it down the back here and it sort of slots into this pocket. So kind of um, keeps some of those sort of larger items on the outside of the bag. Uh, it's also got their nice big pockets down on each side. There's one there, another one down there, um, which is great to fit like another water bottle. Like a, I can fit my um, one litre uh, military canteen in there. Um, also great to put some gloves or even if you just hiking through the bush and you find some tinder on the ground it's great just to pick it up and just stuff it in the pocket so you can get a fire starter later on so that's really useful it's also got these really good 
grab handles down here, which are fantastic for when the pack's fully loaded and it's quite heavy. It's really easy to sort of just lift it up and throw it in and out of your car. So it's quite handy, that. Uh, it's got some more compression straps on the front, which you can undo. That way you can put a, a sleeping mat or even a tent or something like that. It's quite useful. Uh, the compartments are broken up into two sections. So you've got this one third down here and then two thirds up here. Um, that's sort of separated by another sort of zippered flap on the inside of the bag um, that you zip around. And that way you can kind of keep your sleeping gear like your, your sleeping bag or a, a tarp or something like that. Just keeps that in the bottom section and it separates from your, your food and your clothes and things like that, which I, I find quite handy. Or you can unzip it on the inside of the bag. You just have um, all of it open on the inside. Uh, we open the, the lid up. It's got another pocket up here, which I find is quite useful. It's got a little first aid um, symbol, but I tend to keep my first aid on, on the side of the um, pack. In here, it's got, I just tend to keep some extra cordage, um, just a, a rain cover, which that's one thing that kind of, um, it's a bit of a stitch up about this bag is they don't include a rain cover. So this is another rain cover I've got. I kind of wish they included one. So I think that's something they could definitely improve on. And then you've got another clip here with the drawstring closure. We open that right up. Inside, it's got another pouch here where you can put a water bladder. And then it's got these on each side, it's got a, a little hole where you can run the hose out through there and then strap it to your, your straps. So when you're hiking through the bush, you can just have a, a quick sip. So that's quite useful. Um, So yeah, there you have it, Tasmania Tiger Raid Pack 3. Um, awesome pack, absolutely love this thing. And I'm not being paid to say this, um, I bought this in my own money, so it's a very genuine review. I just think it's a really good pack. Um, it is, like I said, slightly on the heavy side, but um, you can kind of get past that and I think you'd really like it because at some point you're gonna have to make a sacrifice and if you want something that's just bomb proof, that's gonna last forever, that's just really well built and it's got some good features, um, the fact that it's a, yeah, a slightly heavy pack, I think is a, sacrifice I'm willing to make. So I'm gonna do another video where I go through all the contents of my pack and what I take on a sort of an overnight hike or a bushcraft trip. So if you're into that, then um, I'll chuck a link up in the description down below. So definitely worth checking that out. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you're new to the channel and you like this kind of stuff, then feel free to check out my videos. Um, if you give us a thumbs up and a subscribe, that'd really help me out. So anyway, till next time guys, hooroo.